Hello there and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a video that's been requested a few times, which is letting you know what's inside my oboe case. I play on a Howarth XL, which I absolutely adore. I'm a Howarth artist and I'm super honored to have that designation. Let's look inside. They make beautiful oboe cases, by the way. So you take off the cover and there's this gorgeous wood case that's on the inside. So if I open that up, ta-da! So this is like the case case part. So in here I have my main oboe, which is made out of wood. I love this oboe so much. It has gotten me through a lot of performances. And I also have a spare top joint, which is made out of Dalrin. The little differences that you can notice between the wood top joint and the Delrin top joint are obviously in the tenon. On the synthetic top joint, I just have some O-rings here as opposed to the cork tenon. And you can see obviously the reed well. Or here it's made out of metal on my wood top joint and the synthetic top joint, it's um, not noticeable. It's just totally part of the top joint. I also have a little tub of cork grease. It's always important to have cork grease for many reasons, but mainly because of reeds and any cork tenons that might have gotten stiff. And it's important to make sure that your instrument comes together and comes apart easily. And that goes for reeds. There's nothing worse than getting a reed stuck inside your instrument because you can end up ruining that reed. Also I have my screwdriver. Screwdrivers are super important to always have on hand. You never know when something's gonna go awry with the oboe. Oboe is a famously fussy instrument. So that takes care of the stuff that's in here, and then I'll show you inside the other part of the case. The first thing that's in here is my reed case. I really love this reed case. I got it about a year ago um, from oboes.ch, and what I love about it is that it fits 50 reeds. At this time, I do not have 50 reeds in here, but this side of it is full. I have some pretty old reeds in here, actually. Um, these three I love that I made like two, over two years ago now, and they're like some of the best reads I've ever made. And then, yeah, some from 2020 year, and then mostly on this side are the newer reads, and I've got some blanks up here in the end. What I've also done is added a little magnet that I've glued on here, and so I have a little plaque that goes just straight on here. So I always have a plaque uh, for quick adjustments. What goes along with that is the Reed Geek bullet. So if I ever need to make any sort of adjustments on the fly when I'm at a gig um, or at a rehearsal, like I can just like take this out and take a few quick little shavings off of a reed if I feel like it needs it. And I have an oboe stand. This is from K&M. You just unscrew it. Bam safe and secure for any sort of performance needs. I do prefer these stands to just the stands that generally come with the instrument, the ones that like are cross section that like fit together like a puzzle. I one time was at a gig when my oboe was on one of those like cross stands and a sound technician actually knocked it over. Since that incident, I've been very conscientious not to like leave my instruments unattended even just for a second. Like what happened was I was doubling on English horn and oboe and so I first was bringing my English horn off stage and then wanted to come back for my oboe. Um, but during like that quick minute, a sound technician managed to knock over my oboe. Um, it was okay, it just needed some minor repairs. So lesson learned. A tuner. As my first oboe teacher liked to say, the oboist always has a guaranteed solo in the form of the tuning A every concert. Next up is a swab. I just use a pull-through silk swab. I do have coming up a review of a bunch of different kind of swabs, and so I'm really excited to get into that because I haven't tried any of them yet. I have some Jupiter like cleaning papers. So I use these to get water from under any of the keys if there is like a little bubble of water that's causing some gurgling. Additionally, these are very useful to wipe off any sort of like oil on your face. All right, now I'm camera ready. Next up, I have a little water cup. This is uh, made by Nalgene and it's really, really watertight. It's never failed me. I have some earplugs. Um, these are great. They're edematic. 
earplugs. Uh, I found these are really great for when you're sitting right in front of the brass section, they're playing really loud, you're at a pop show, you get the drum set. Um, these are really great to protect your hearing. It's very important to focus on your health. I have a little Apple AirTag in here as well, which I use, uh, you know, just in case. I did have my oboe stolen once many years ago in Montreal, so after that, I kind of have had a few different uh, tracking devices in here just in case something happens. It could happen by accident. Someone picks up your oboe case so you can track it and anyone with an iPhone can like help you find your lost item. Uh, maybe that's just like kind of wishful thinking because the Apple AirTag is not an anti-theft device, but here's hoping. And of course I have a bunch of mechanical pencils. Usually I have three in here, which means I've lent one of them out and didn't get it back. All right, that concludes my tour of what's inside my oboe case. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay in touch. I am on Instagram at oboe Ron, and please subscribe to me here on YouTube and like this video if you enjoyed it. As well, if you have any suggestions for upcoming videos, let me know in the comments below. Good luck on your oboe journey and have a great day.